Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we will be continuing my Spyrothon of the Spyro games that I have yet to play. We went through into the Dragonfly. We went through a Hero's Tale, and now we are going through Legend of Spyro. A new beginning. <laughs> a dragon model. Indeed. Surprising, isn't it? It took me a little bit to, like, modify the thumbnail dragon into proper BNG tuber. But hey. We're gonna let this go, because I do believe that there is, like, a mini opening thing if we let it go a bit. Let's see if it tells us anything. What is it? Exactly what I feared. This is what Cinder has done. There are times when all of us need to stand up to danger. Sparks, look out! <laughs> that that Sparks model's completely different. I just huh. learned what I am. Hello, you Elijah can, Wood. Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. <laughs> Beat him up right gameplay. Now, you must fight. I do like that they just, like, have a trailer built in. I think more games should just have their trailers incorporated into the game. It's time to unleash the true dragon within you. Unleash the true dragon, even though he be tiny. Interesting that they only lightly touched on Cinder there. But, for a quick little diddly dee. Like, uh, I think I might have played this one in particular many, 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 many ages ago, and I forget pretty much everything. The only things I know about The Legend of Spyro is Elijah Wood is Spyro. The model is, like... Uh, I think I remember the model being a little bit weird compared to the previous Spyro models, 3D models that I've seen, so that'll take some getting used to. Completely forgot that Sparks has arms in this, in this version. And it's like, oh yeah, uh, this is when Sparks had an actual voice actor. To be fair, like, uh, Hero's Tale Sparks also had a voice actor, which was very surprising. <laughs> very, very weird experience, considering that in, like, 1, 2, 3, and, uh, Enter the Dragonfly, it was just... Whenever he spoke. And then in the Hero's Tale, they're like, we'll throw voice acting in. <laughs> Why not? But, as for my experience with Legend of Spyro... I think I may have played this one a long, long time ago. Hardly remember anything. I, I do remember, like, seeing trailers for this, I think. This one. Uh, when I was a kid. And, uh, one thing that I remember, th like, child me thinking was, uh, assuming Cinder was Spyro's evil mother for some reason. No idea why I came to that conclusion, but hey. But, let us see. <laughs> Screen position. Don't care. <laughs> we can go wide. It actually does help quite a bit. Subtitles on, yes please. At slow motion chance. Hmm. Also, I gotta say, I love the look of this river. It's just like a baked-in video. It's not being rendered, I don't think. But that river looks utterly gorgeous. And the music, also really good. I'll have to keep an eye on my audio throughout this, because... Like, I don't know. <laughs> have to... I'm... Because I feel like this one might be a little different audio-wise compared to others, but... Either way... After playing through Enter the Dragonfly and A Hero's Tale that so desperately wanted to recapture what Insomniac created, I think that 
a new beginning is exactly what Spyro needed as a franchise. Because they were trying to recapture that collectathon platforming feel. And while A Hero's Tale came very close, they also threw away the, like, uh, like, they threw away their chance at being in a top spot by just overcomplicating the game, overcomplicating the difficulty, feeling they had to do, like, more and more and more and more, instead of settling in with just good. Just good can be decent. Well, d well, duh, you know what I mean. But just good can be good enough. You don't need... Well, then again, they were working for Universal, so Universal probably was like, No, you have to go for Super Duper Amazing, yes. And uh, that could probably be their version of the crunch that the poor schmucks who worked on Enter the Dragonfly suffered. It could be that Enter the Dragonfly was super crunch while A Hero's Tale suffered a bit from maybe some executive meddling mandates. I don't know. I, I did it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, New Beginning is much more linear and honestly, good. Honestly, good. That is kind of what it might just need. Because, like, I, I can understand maybe some people... Like, uh, to quickly address the potential gripes older fans probably had with this trilogy when it came out. I can see, like, some getting annoyed at it for being darker than the previous five Spyro games. But personally, I don't mind it being kind of a reimagining reboot. Uh, so, personally, I am willing to look at, see what they've got. Because it doesn't help that Spyro never really had, like story or lore, really. It was kind of just excuses for stuff. So, seeing somebody go like, hey, what if we took Spyro and gave him big lore, big story, and turn it into kind of like a story epic, I don't mind that. Now, I can also definitely see, like, fans get annoyed at it going from collectathon platformer to a, a 3D beat-em-up. But personally, I'm not really one to get tied to gameplay. I much prefer, like, vibes and characters. <laughs> like, uh, look at me. Having played through three Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games on this stream, and each one I just kind of go, Yeah, the gameplay just uh, isn't super duper. I'm here for the vibes and characters and world and story. So, I I can gel with just about anything, so long as it's, like, a, a general gameplay type, I don't mind. So, we'll see if I don't mind Legend of Spyro, A New Beginnings, beat em up gameplay. But enough rambling from me. Let us go and see what this Elijah Wood trilogy has to offer. From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. I like reimagining, though. Reimagining can work. It, it just depends. Because if you reimagine in an incorrect way, you can kind of bother people. It, it, it can be a stumbling block. And... Uh, it, like, I, I'm trying to think. Because it, depend, it depends on the franchise as well. Like, look at... Thundercats Roar, I think it was. That was a, a terrible show. Primarily because it very much held spite towards the old fans of the other two series. But I think that, like, if it Thunder if they tried to do Thundercats Roar with, like, Transformers or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think that would have worked better because Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have, like, a lot more reimaginings, reinterpretations, and, like, behind them, and more than likely, they are gonna get more of them in the future, whereas Thundercats only ever had the two. So when it's a stupid dum dum show that's gonna flop immediately, the fans can't help but be annoyed because they don't know if they're gonna get another show again. So, it depends on the franchise, depends on the characters, the fan base, and the reimagining itself. 
Because, like, sometimes a reimagining can be just perfectly fine. Go crazy. Do whatever. But uh, it, it all depends on, like, what came before and will there be something that came after. Because just look at Skylanders. As a Spyro fan, I can't help but feel a little bit of spite towards Skylanders. Because until the Reignited trilogy, Spyro didn't have anything due to Skylanders kind of filling that slot. Because the original Skylanders was, I think, Spyro the Dragon's Skylanders or something like that. He had top billing. And then he didn't. Meh. But enough wibbly wobbling. Let's go on with Legend of Spyro and see what it has to offer. In the year of the dragon. Now the third game. Beyond the realms. <laughs> I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. Funnily, wasn't there lines in like the first Spyro game alluding to Spyro's like destiny? Hidden the eggs long before, but I, I thought we were ready. So it's kind of funny, I Legend of Spyro, <laughs> going all in on that. Oh, how I was wrong! Not a bad model for a cinematic. Kinda plastic, but not bad. Save them! The dark armies have come. Sauron is here. Also, I gotta say, I really do enjoy the dragon design overall. Could be a little weird because it's not bipedal like the other dragon elders of past games. Ooh. Mushroom trees. I like the vibe so far. <laughs> I will not save this dragon egg. I shall send it down the river instead, where it's clearly visible. May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. I don't think it makes much sense to send the egg down the river. <laughs> like, I get it, Moses, but... Kind of wonky and weird because... Now the egg is defenseless. Came back to find all the other eggs just destroyed. And now the river looks positively magical. <laughs> Plus it also helps that after five games of Spyro... Like I even was saying they should have gone harder on the story for Spyro Hero's Tale... And so now that they actually are going harder on a, a story-based Spyro game, very happy with it. The Legend of Spyro, a new beginning. Starring Elijah Wood, David Spade. Well, I think I know who Sparks is going to be voiced by. Gary Oldman as Ignitus. I like that Eventually. they... I like that they told us what is. The distant swamp, where a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They huh. didn't have to wonder for long. They definitely anthropified the the dragonflies. Also, the music is so good in this game. That's nice to hear. So the little bit I've heard is actually really good. Transformers Prime is cool. Transformers Prime is very cool. It's then uh, robots in disguise that came after, the which was kind first, of. But finally amazed <laughs> and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come. It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. Nice the dragonflies. Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born in the same day. In ah, fact, destiny. the two were almost like brothers. The more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, 
accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true. That's kind of funny. One of them, nonetheless. He thinks he's just Thanos. <laughs> ah, we have to look for him. I see you. I know you're hiding. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> yeah, you better run. I think this this Spyro design is oddly endearing. I do like the like design of the area. And I gotta say, I think I'm gonna enjoy the pl like if this game has platforming, I think I'm gonna enjoy it more than uh, dr uh, a hero's tale because the camera's kind of pulled out a bit more, so I have better tell of like where I'm gonna land. What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly. <laughs> oh, that's right. You walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. That's kind of harsh. When I catch you. <laughs> oh. I pressed the wrong button. Hold R1 to charge. I guess it makes sense. They had to move up the... The diddly D for everything. Oh. Oh, man. The, it'll take a little bit of uh, finessing. Hmm, so there's a little bit of, like, uh, less control with charging in this game. Gotcha. Because uh, it's more of a charge and less of a yeah, controllable run. <laughs> Sparks is getting killed! You're a part of its natural habitat. I'm your buddy. My wings are getting moldy. Time for melee attacking. Get out of here, plant animal. Plant toad. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker. So much for gratitude. Such is the <laughs> the existence of a hero, Spyro. Now we have to fight these these dudes alone. Collecting red gems will give you health. I guess these guys are dropping red gems, maybe. Or maybe they're just making sound when they die. They might just be sound making when they die. Let me go... Enable autosave. Hmm. We'll leave that alone for now, but let's see. Ah. There we go. I'm gonna see, because... There we go! That is the controls I prefer. This is the first spiral game in a long time that allowed me to actually m change my controls because I like to push the stick in the direction that I'm looking rather than... Oh, hey, these guys have health bars. I just realized. Eh. <laughs> Looks like an, like an area from Legend of Zelda. I, maybe. <laughs> Ever so slightly, maybe. Is that a dragon skull or a snake hey, skull? That's cheating. We're not allowed in there. Uh, Ooh, the forbidden place. Excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Well, oh, air combo. We can do a super spin into the dark area of doom, well. as all good stories begin. I do kind of like that since Sparks is meant to be a character, like they actually, well, made him a character. That is, well, I was going to say that isn't just a mildly snarky little guy, but like he was in Hero's Tale, but I guess this one is quite snarky. Decently snarky indeed. Get out of here. 
Don't know why they have these little offshoot areas, but we will go. Ah, we can kind of, I guess that's the lock on button. We're hovering. Monkey man? Why are you capturing a monkey? Monkey man, why are you capturing a dragonfly? Oh no, they're, they're the orcs. Shall basic beat him up our way through. I didn't even mean to air combo you, but I did. Slow mo. An Azure chill spell. Oh no, that's just their names. Hainer Mask Maker. Nicole Archer Taker. Dynamite! I got blown up. Dang it, I'm trying to hit the dynamite, but these guys are on my ass. And I died. Because I was expecting to uh, a little bit more time on that dynamite stick. That's a little that's a little mean. Spawn me in just to die. I do kind of enjoy the slow-mo, as a possibility. <laughs> they hear Stone Ice. I wonder if they each, like, each one is intentionally named. Or if, like, they're just random named. Let me out of here and fight me like a thing, whatever you are. You pathetic wretch. David Spade kind of phoning it in a little bit. Magical firepower! Ooh, was that fire, dude? Also, you could totally just crawl out of there, Sparks. I gotta report to Sender. I also like that they didn't just make, like, pseudo-norks <laughs> as the first enemy to face in this game. They are actually... Ah, it's an energy meter for fire. Gotcha! I can get these guys kind of stunned. How dare you hit me? That is illegal. In at least 50 states. Get burning. And I free the boy. And now the, <laughs> the boy was free for a second. Now he's back in there. Okay. You almost torched me, dude. I saved you. Hey. You Wait. breathe fire. <laughs> well, I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flame from the mouth. Well, I, I, I'm He's a very special dragonfly. No, More dragon than fly. Ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing. Never mind. These dragonflies are actually pretty big. Crazy. You don't believe me. Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh. Like, honestly, it looks like they're bigger than they were in the it's opening cinematic. Right, Spyro, I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night. You are less Spyro fly, more dragon. To dragonfly after all. But in fact, an exile from an unknown distant, <laughs> unknown distant land up the river. Um, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that. We get the night, newspaper Spiral from up the river. Venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. And I've got to find it. 
Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you. Because I'm always with you. <laughs> but I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong on a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up. Your nose I kind of like this. It's kind of a that breath of yours wisely. neat little thing. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. I like this beginning. It's very nice. And on, a, on one hand, I kind of wish that there was a bit more of, like, so watching Spyro... Spyro left the only family come to it instead of just having it narrated, but like one. at the same Where time getting through it quick, know. I can kind of understand. <laughs> come on, Spyro, don't get ninjured. Just because you can beat up monkey men doesn't mean that you're safe. Seriously, you should hear their screaming. They're not exactly subtle. All right, giant... Giant evil plants? You showed them to me for a reason, so what are they? So now, canonically, Spyro is adopted. Then again, we never actually see Spyro's family in, like, any of the other Spyro games. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll just kill all the frogweed. I do like that it seems like the frogweed take extra damage to fire. And get burned. Just gotta test it all. Because they sh it showed it to me. So it feels important. Yeah, so far. Pretty nice. Oh, it's a giant evil mushroom spider. A shrub limb. That screams horrifically. Exiled? Well, technically, he got moses which I still think that Ignitus was weird, because, like, a yellow dragon's like, the dark armies are here. Take the, the dragon egg. We'll continue after David Spade talks. Compared to dragonflies. Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. Burn shrubbery. I like that now I can preempt the enemies with my fire breath. Mahaha. <laughs> but yeah. Ignitus like took the purple dragon egg and set it in a mushroom cap and just threw sent it down a river. So you're telling me that that one guy with the dynamite wasn't even like the head guy. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I can do combos, kinda. No fury swipes for you. Bloodcaster? Didn't expect blood to be mentioned in a game like this. Oh, that's dynamite. Die and give me gems, Riftworm. Panther Dreamer. Oh. 
Ow. Stop attacking me so I can attack you instead. No jumping around, Chaos Wing. I wonder if they just had a, a team meeting, a, a, a team meeting, a team meeting, and was like, hey, everyone make up a bunch of weird names. We'll use them as enemy names. And get sent away, Far Staff. I send you far away. Hmm, ah, maybe I need to burn? No. But then maybe we have to beat up more dudes. Die, Earth Hawk. <laughs> Just saw a repeat name. Understandable. Hmm. Maybe I need to, like, get one of these guys to throw dynamite at me? What else I can think of? Or maybe I just need to... Maybe th this is like one enemy spawn that didn't have many deaths and he still has a few in the tank. Yeah, he just had to f finish him off. He was just spawned very far away and didn't rush at me compared to everybody else. Oh! Well, th that's just grand! I can strafe around enemies. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. All right. <laughs> Spyro steps one step out of out away from home. Immediately runs into Eldritch abominations. He really is Elijah Wood, because that's basically Frodo's experience, too. Ah, enemies down here. Let's go and kill them. Oh, okay. Horn Dive is, like, more of a dive a little bit. What kind of na <laughs> What did you have to do to get named Snake Fletcher? And the big guy just went to fall to his death. He literally, he literally fell to his death. Your, your boss is dead. I am your boss now. And I say that you're fired. Now give me your life gems. They are mine. I do like that Sparks actually gives off light. That is a nice detail. I like that. <laughs> Breeze sparks, old boy. Go to your happy place. Giant scary what in the world was that? scary roar. <laughs> I have no idea, but I, I'm going this way, far from it. Which they could have made it a bit louder and a bit more scary. Spyro's journey really began when he and I finally met again for the very first yeah. time. The whole so you were just hanging out here in Mushroom Land? I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're, you're alive. This is what happens but when you send an egg down a river. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? Do you know me? Where do I come from? What are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does you send him down a river. <laughs> you're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. And then you sent them down a river. Others? Others? Not they anymore. Were, there were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs... Ah, uh, so this is the dark future where there wasn't a spiro to protect all the all. eggs. And our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by temple. What temple? Can you take me? He just where said I it's overrun. Where I came from, I mean. S silly no, Elijah no. Wood Dragon. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you. They? Well, who is they? And and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon, 
A dragon born only once every ten generations. A very special mm. dragon indeed. Ew. Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might uh, mix that one up. Whoa. That's I mean, he is purple. Bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Army's attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. Very interesting so far. I do think that we found him kind of unceremoniously. Years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle. You are pretty big, so why, how, how vast were the forces that you were overrun? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Another dragon Cinder got thrown into it. Cinder? Yes, Cinder. Interesting, this is pre-rendered gameplay These elements. Monstrous, horrific, ferocious. Hot. That fills the skies with terror. An unstoppable force of nature. Uh, yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched as Cinder plucked the other guardians from the fields of battle. He ropes around the neck. Creeps from the fire. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I. Igniters managed to escape. Harsh. It matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been. What else I might have done. Well, not send the egg up a river, for one. Wow. I continue to say. Sounds fun. I want to hang out with this guy. <laughs> yeah, why have you given up? I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home or family left? I've come way too far to give up now. I want to see where I come from. Hold up, savior boy. Were you not listening to this guy? Like, even I'm though this is just David Spade being David born. Spade, Horrible he kind of fits bad. being Sparks. All right, I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. It's true, the prophecies spoke of the purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually going to go along with this lunatic. Very well, then. We'll go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. Okay, that's actually a really good line. What saying here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff. There wasn't really flowers. There were just mushrooms. Silly little dragonfly. Yeah, but so far, pretty interesting. Level up? What do you mean, level up? We'll look at that in a moment. But yeah, so far, interesting. Again, I just think it would have been, like, uh, if there was a little bit more fanfare to finding Ignitus. I think just, just a little bit. The year of the dragon. That's this year, too. So, I I must have picked the, the perfect year to play this game, then. Well, I, I assume... Well, I, I'll wait just in case the game tells me to level up. Just in case. I do like Ignitus, Ignitus's design. It has very Cinder's good colors. The soldiers must have knocked the other two statues out of place. Heathens. What other two statues? On the other side of this door are two statues just like these. When all four statues are positioned correctly, the door opens. Yeah, good. I was never good at geometry. So what do you want us to do? Spyro, we'll fly through because we're tiny. I need you to get in there and move the statues in place. What if they smash the statues? How? That small then the door could never open. Animals used to access the caves. Find it. 
and use it because you are yeah, a small yeah. animal. Okay, you know what? You do that, and I'll wait here. I mean, true, he is more of a bug. Boom! Okay! Did not know that I could. Okay, neat! Even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, still cool. Die, bug man. Weed bramble. But yeah, I am digging the vibe so far. Again, like, uh, does feel like uh, it's a little rush. Ever so slightly. But so far, I'm digging the vibes that it's laying down. Also, the design of these shrub spiders is actually really cool. They're just random mobs, but they actually have such cool design. Because it kind of make it, it kind of feels like a fantasy Spyro, a, a fantasy Spyro. What the fuck, bring a fantasy spider? Because they're in a a mushroomy place. There are these little mushrooms that hang about, and so they evolved to look like spiders. Spiders of mushrooms. Hey, when in doubt, break it, right? Go nuts. And then we fall. <laughs> Push the dragon statues, but we have big gameplay to happen. The music is playing. The trumpets are sounding. Also... <laughs> or maybe they're just here eternally and I have to... Then again, who knows? Maybe they're eternal, or maybe they only have limited lives. Get out of here, honey beard. Go back to your D&D campaign. Get out of here, spider boy. Boom. So it does seem like they're like, I don't know. It feels kind of impractical to push the statues when these guys are after us, but I can. Plus, I'm not even sure how to, so I think we have to kill them all. Strange willow. All right, that... <laughs> The ability to strafe enemies is actually really powerful. I do like that they're on a track. You can't accidentally move them out of alignment. That's actually very nice. <laughs> Speaking about lives, this game also has infinite lives. Would be kind of weird to introduce them now, after... Any trouble? Hero's tail again. Trouble. Nothing I couldn't handle. Little insects, my tail. Ah, they were mushrooms. He's like, ah, oh, another door we need to open in a weird way. This is prelude to model a dim promise. Allow us entrance. Do not reject us. Are you making that up? It should open for us. There is a disturbance in the force it seems my fears have been realized and they've desecrated the interior as well guess we'll have to open it the old-fashioned way make your way through the connecting rooms restoring every statue you can find hey you know what let's don't and say we didn't why don't you do it you want my help Very well hop up all right the old guy's coming to life he will let us use him as a stool. Even his head. Careful, Spyro. Cinder's forces are surely on their way. Oh, goody. Ooh, take a gander at this. Yep. Ah, so this is a healing. Hey, Spyro, what was that about? I ate crystals. I, don't really know. I just felt like I had to hit it. <laughs> and when I did. The power of a thousand suns surged through my body. Really? Right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? You should really sleep better. 
You know, I'm gonna stop bugging you. You really need to get eight hours. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Let's go. That's mildly amusing. The power of a thousand suns. Ooh, fire blast of blazing skies. Scorch the bad guys with fuller, hotter breath that won't fizzle out. Ooh. Ooh, so there's multiple little upgrades. Well, uh, I guess I don't have any upgrades just yet. <laughs> Interesting that it just wasn't there, but also kind of cool that it takes over the, the main screen. Even if it is just like a model overlaid the background. But I like that kind of. That's kind of cool. I hear your screams. Even when on fire, this guy's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you. Scary little monkey man. Dang it. <laughs> Doom Thief. Again, the names amuse me. Also, not really that good of a, a sanctum. If, like, these guys are the forces of darkness that came in and blasted it. Now, if, uh, if Cinder came along, I could believe that being a problem. Frickin' spiders becoming Beyblades. I'm being Beybladed to death by spiders. But I do like that enemies heal you. That does feel nice. Look at his little paw prints in the sand dirt. That's adorable. I should probably go double check that because it made a dee -dee -dee noise and either something spawned or it just meant that, hey, you can continue. Ah, so that's what that, that was. Quite an entrance, young dragon. How are they you supposed to use that? Yet. That is, YouTube chat says it looks like Ignitus is limping, which is a neat little detail. What are these things? These are spirit gems, a gift from the ancestors. What kind of gift? A gift that speaks across generations. That answers nothing. A gift that empowers you with the spirit of the past. Strengthening you with the wisdom of the ages. I feel more powerful already. Hmm. Smash the gem clumps. Collecting blue gems will increase your spirit energy. Used to upgrade your breaths through the level up upgrade screen on the pause menu. I do like that they still include gems as an important thing for Spyro. What is it? Exactly what I feared. Look, Spyro. Perhaps we should turn back. What? We just came after coming this far. <laughs> after coming like uh, door is closed, oh, oh, hardly an hour of gameplay in. Behind. It's how the temple protects itself. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work too well, does it? Ha! So I was going to say something saying, like that. Nidus? What I'm saying is the only way the door will open... Don't say it! <laughs> ...is if the intruders are kicked out of there. Didn't I just say don't say it? But yeah, so far, I am enjoying the vibes of this game. I'd find it funny if Ignit Ignitus is like... Must you destroy this temple more? It's already gone through so much. But yeah, so far, I am digging this. Ah, now we're getting blue gems for annihilating our enemies.
Be gone, Doom Grin. I send you into a wall. Ah. Crystal Monkey Man. He's here to beat us up. Well, he sent his minions. <laughs> Alright. Cool Aid Man Monkeys. But I am definitely digging the vibes. What I need to do is I need to draw more dragons and write more of my dragon story. I hear a uh, I hear a frog. Am I going to have to kill a frog? Rain demon, huh? Ow. Take this, rain demon! Fly away! I wonder... I'm gonna check out the level up screen, see if there's an... Ah, so when it presumably fills up entirely with spirit energy, we can spiritify ourselves. So, am I gonna have to sneak up and blow him up? Ignite the fuse with your fire blast. Explosion time. Murder. <laughs> Venom ghost. Like, I... Now I see why, like, uh... It was suggested that, like, The Legend of Spyro be turned into a movie way back when. Until Universal Studios was like, ah, oh, well, we want to go in a different direction. Because, like, this actually would have been a dope movie. I've done much murder. Never mind, there's more murder. Whole army of them. <laughs> Dolly Zoo. Ooh, and will we get to see you fight? Well, Ignitus, we nabbed your guardian buddies, but you managed to escape our clutches. Until uh, now. I was exactly going to say that. Stand back, Spyro. And let me show you what a dragon trained in the ancient Are you going to limp fall over I'm going to have to save you? <laughs> Not bad for out of practice, man. Guy's got some moves. I wonder how much we've been getting along is just the fact that we're a purple dragon. Ooh, explosion and murder. Are you okay, Ignitus? Yes. As I get older, it takes longer to recover. Well, go drink up some of the jewels that they dropped. Can you show me how to do that? Patience, young dragon. Soon enough, you'll learn all I have to teach. But right now, you must fight. You must prove to the old dragon man that you can be a bad enough dragon to save the world. Dang it. I'm getting fury swiped. Get out of here, Weasel Finder. <laughs> weasel Finder General. Oh, I can even do a... Oh, that's awesome. Be gone, Mad Singer. Dang it. The big guy was covering up my, my movement. Oh, yeah. I do love that, like, even if it is basic beat-em-up, 
It's still actually pretty nice. Ignitus is in no condition to fight, but that was yeah, still amazing. It was pretty cool. Here. There will certainly be more of them in the temple. Oh, goody. They won't be there for long. I will murder all of Wonderful. them. Wonderful. Now he's getting cocky. Okay. David Spade Sparks, You so far you are doing good. <laughs> or at least the writing for you is good. Ooh, is it a mystical pool of knowledge? Look at the happy grin of excitement. So happy! <laughs> While doing the air combo, you can still use your fire breath on them. Yep. I already knew that. I just don't know how, how good it is. I like to oh. use it to stun, leap them in the Sweet air, and then smack them. Ooh, very nice. It's a very nice statue. Some people think this is the cutest Spyro. He definitely has an, a, a, like, even though he's kind of, uh, could be considered kind of clunky in design, I think it still has some charm to it. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of dudes! I am being invaded while I am invading. How dare you hit me while I'm flying through the air. <laughs> All that fighting happened right in the doorway. Again, I'm really liking the vibes. Have to wait for the old dragon man. <laughs> right as the music was swelling, <laughs> cut to cutscene. I know it's my fault I activated it, but still. At least I think I activated it. Not in Kansas, Kansas, d Kansas does not exist in, in the world of Spyro, David Spade. How dare. Or maybe it does. The island of Kansas. Dragon Wizard of Oz exists. Ah, oh, that's the river you sent Spyro down. This is what Cinder has done. Planted mushrooms all Put over the place? All the islands under her iron rule. I wanted to see where I came from, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Or maybe it's all supposed to be rocks. It's hard to yeah, tell. Yeah, no offense, but this place is a bit of a dump. This was once our home, Spyro. Together we can make it our home once again. Reclaim what's rightfully ours. This does feel like the what beginning of an epic journey, it does. I mean that my time for heroics has passed. But with your help, we might be able to beat Cinder. I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. And you immediately... <laughs> I find it funny that at first it was you like, we can't do anything. I want to see where I've come from. Fine. You have to do it, Spiral. I don't know if I can. You've given me hope again. <laughs> and now it's time to give hope to all of them. I'm not sure what help Hope I to who? Ignitus, but like but three other dragons that exist in this I'll world? Try. I'll try. Good. That's all I can ask. Now come with me. I have something for you. 
The style you used earlier is cruel, archaic. <laughs> archaic. But you got the job done. Not bad. Because he's like a Since Stone Age dragon. Told anything about what it means to be Just a flailing about. Thanks. I think. But if you're going to have a chance against Cinder and her army, you're going to need to learn a lot more. Oh, good school. Unlike any school you've ever known, young friend. Now, it's and again, what do you know of Dragonfly School? Maybe it's like the Hunger Games. You don't know Ignitus. Ignitus. I, I, I don't know why I want to say Ign Ignitus. Is master hmm. of an element. I, as you may have surmised, am master of fire. Which, luckily, you already have the basics for. Pay attention, and you may be someday too. Let's begin. How do you even activate the statue? Are you psychic? That's very impressive, and uncommon. Small dojo dummy. That move. Just gotta light him on fire. Very good, young Spyro. Spyro, come here. This time, see if you can chase them down with your fire breath. Chase down and then burn. Feed all the dummies before the time expires. I don't even know what time limit I have. It's like the Egg Thieves, but worse. Burn. Oh, you awaken my hopes once more. I wonder what that purple thing around my fire icon is. Is it for a super move? Spyro, you must learn that there is a time and a place for everything. I do like that they're kind of like going over everything oh, yeah. just in case. It's like, Looking just so you know, you can do this. Into the air allows many opportunities for continued attacks. In the air, your wings give you the advantage. Be a dragon. Do some combos. Wow, I actually won. Awesome. Absolutely adorable. Let us see how well you can improvise with your abilities. Ah, they have, that's a horn dive I know of. You did it! And now it's time to move on. Again, the vibes are just very nice here. Oh, come here. Let us continue. Three times. And then knock it up. Oh. Alright, so. One, two, three. That's for the super combo. And then I can follow up with a horn dive. That's it. Come over here. Let's try a napper. Into the air for horn dive, alrighty. Or uh, for the pu push away. I tell the folks about this? Spyro goes home to his dragonfly oh, yeah. family. I killed so many people. Strike when your enemy is vulnerable. Get out of here, dojo dummy. I like to imagine that Ignitus styled the dummies after the enemies they faced, just out of like, I want to, all of them to feel pain. Alright. Ah, time to play bowling.
Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Maybe. I'm not angling them good. Damn it. There we go. I think maybe. It's not my fault. It's hard to angle these guys. Find the strength, Sprinkle. You have it. Really, they should have been. It feels like they should have been. Like, spread apart a bit more. I need to do it five times, too. Well, first things first. It's. Dang it! There we go. Blast him. I do like that it kind of locks on to the enemy closest. There we go. I need to use the strafing more. Dang it. Oh, that's that. Dang it. It's these hyper specific ones. There we go. Bowling is difficult for dragons. Also, I never use strafe. I probably should do it more. It does seem to very much help. Knock an enemy back into a larger group. This can be effective in situations where you are greatly outnumbered. That barely touched them. <laughs> Over here. Spyro, you have taken tremendous strides in your ability to harness the element. Ooh. I have. But now I will teach you to manipulate it. Focus and channel your fire into a short, concentrated burst. When done correctly, the results can be explosive. Neat. Hell yeah. I have fireballs now. Ah, I knew you had it in you. I can blow up my enemies. This way, oh Marv one. Now let's mix it up. And press. Ooh. Rude enemies are flying after me. I have to destroy them with fireballs. As they try to destroy me with dynamite. Completely wrong way. I hate that those guys are like intercepting my double jump ones. Or maybe it's the dynamite that's intercepting them. At least I think that's one down. Ah, it's double down. Haha. <laughs> so far, so good. Now for the real challenge. What's the real challenge? Fighting you? Pyro, come here. Oh, I have to go somewhere else. Normally, I have to run you back to him. I demonstrated the ability to control and manipulate fire, Spyro. If Press R2 to defeat the, the oncoming larger dummies. Fire fury. To to unleash its fury. Feel the fire consume and flow through you. Have to crew. The purple. Fitting that the purple gems give us. 
our superpower. Interesting that they're like, uh, do it this way rather than just fill up our gauge. <laughs> Also, if you can just make these dummies, why not send- make a bunch of them and send them to war? <laughs> a single gong, and then utter annihilation. And I almost- That's very nice. And now the statue rises. In celebration of our victory against the, <laughs> the training dummies. Well, I am digging the vibes. It is very nice. Is this going to be a teleporter? What's at the poor big guy? If you must know, certain dragons have the ability to see visions. The thoughts, memories, and dreams of others. Ah, spy. What's happening in places far, far away. I am You're gonna watch down, Shrek? And in this pool, the visions come forth. Oh really? Is that so? Okay, what am I thinking now? <laughs> what am I thinking now? Okay, now. Now. Now, 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 now. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Sparks. It takes time, reflection, and patience. Well, it is a pool, so it already has reflection. What I do see in the pool of visions is that Voltia, one of the Guardians, is being held on Dante's freezer. That's an interesting name. Spiral, <laughs> Sorry, Sparrow, you have to go to hell. Others, I want you to venture there and find out what you can. Remember... Just look around. If you encounter Cinder, run. You're not ready to face her yet. Okay, She's far so too e e evil to, to ship Got you it. with yet. But Ignitus, how do we get there? I'm glad you asked. Why are you smiling? I don't like it. Is it an air balloon or is it a cannon? Let me get this straight. Oh, I flying. I can fly? <laughs> Wink. Maybe you've been hanging in those caves a little too long, old man. Pyro can't fly. Also, old man, he's a dragon. They don't know what humans are. A bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. It's you that will be getting some fresh air, Spyro. He's like, I'm going to teach this young and some a, a lesson. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and empty your mind. Are we gonna mind yes. train? Yes, that's it. Now feel the power of your ancestors coursing through your body. In times of crisis, they will come to you and teach you. Unlocking powers you never knew you had. It's like the Avatar. Right, this I gotta see. Just forget everything you ever thought you knew. Forget yourself. Only through forgetting will you remember what your ancient blood already knows. You can fly. All right, the reading on that was super cool. Oh, he's kind of acting like a dog being held over water with that. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, again, even though it's kind of obviously abridged because they have to get a move on with the story and the gameplay, the vibes, man, it's so good. Love it. Like, it honestly feels like they knew what they were going for, but also kind of knew that they had to focus to make the game what they wanted it to be. Are Put in the important bits Welcome to the club, baby. and, like, hit the vibes, hit the important bits, Alec, the and club. cut the chaff as much as possible. Yeah, I could get used to this. Which is honestly definitely respectable so far. All right, interesting. 
Man, I am digging this game so far. Sometimes the enemies are very fast. Ooh. We will terrorize the people below with the power of fireballs. <laughs> Thankfully, for uh, this is much better than the Spark Star Fox mini game. Ah, there we go. Dodging. But yeah, so far it feels like they had a, a distinct vision of what they wanted to go for. And were willing to... Like, cut certain aspects that weren't needed. while still hitting the emotional high points. Whoa! They're launching themselves at me! <laughs> Alright. Freaks. <laughs> Nightmare monsters. So they're like evil Vikings with that ship. So I literally am just kind of going along and lightly terrorizing the enemies. Take this evil ship. Do you think they have galley slaves down there and that's how they're rowing? Just tormenting the poor galley slaves. They don't even have their cannons anymore. They're not really a threat. But I'm just assuming them to be evil. And they disappeared into a, a, an iceberg. So I think we're already at the place that they're holding, Valdir? All right. Ow! Hey, rude. Alright, I need to be careful. Oh, hey, an icy forest of doom. I like that. That was neat. Sender's army is willing to sacrifice themselves, even if it means kamikaze style. I guess Sender is just that terrifying and hot. <laughs> oh, evil mommy dragon. I will launch myself at our enemies for you. Is a desolate arctic expanse that's littered with the machinery of war. Soldiers and weapons frozen forever in the posture of destruction. Well, that's must disturbing. Oh dear. Also, he's lost forever. He's been here for years. Coming in too fast. This doesn't look good. Voltaire has been here for years. Ignitus, I think he'll be fine for a few days. Nice landing, Ace. Maybe this <laughs> does a little dance. Well, it sure doesn't help that you're carrying all that weight. You know, throw a Quit body shaming Spyro. While, you might be okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll stick to the ground for a while. Good idea. Not exactly a friendly place, huh? Wonder where we should start. Well, I'm no hero like you, but maybe we should take that clearly marked path that leads to the interior. It is pretty cold out, probably. And you are a lizard. I like the way that he walks. It's kind of adorable. Is it weird that that blinked at me? <laughs> Just keep moving. Ice cubes alive. Oh, hey, it's Draugr. All right. 
slightly horrifying. But again, I am digging the vibes of this game. Why don't we use this thing to knock that bad boy down? <laughs> what do we use to do, throw it? <laughs> we'll use you as the cannonball. Chill if the hungry. Oh, darn you. I guess he just knocked me away. But still, darn you. Hit trees to make snowballs fall. What the hell? Ah, enemies. You're supposed to be frozen in terror. Kindly cease. And get out of here. Look at these little guys just snooping around the fire. Yeah, this game I know I need to hit the trees. Ooh. All right, the controls for moving them around are kind of nice. It's just that I wiggity wonked them about. So I am the fool. Game, game is fine. I am the fool. Hit the catapult. Uh. And fire! Ah, I guess that's all. Is that it? Must be, because it's not resetting. Or maybe it's because I was nearby? I think it was because I was nearby. Huh? I wanted to see if there was anything in there. Just death. That was a good idea. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> you? Glad you? No. <laughs> Lightly snarky little man. Fire bomb. I'll probably want to level that up when we can. We're a little bit away. Oh, yeah, I should probably use fireballs more. Great, he summoned an ice wall. And he's sending an army at me. I do like that they look slightly different compared to the forest temple minions. Get out of here. And again, blood dive. I guess they felt safe putting names like that in because they're just little names. Now I'm gonna come up and fight you, you big man. More like Venom Fail, am I right? Have I leveled up? It'll probably give me a, a notification when I actually level up. Ah, uh, here's a dent in the wall. Have to make it through. And especially now that they know that I'm here. If they actually set off the alarm. Ah, oh, great. I hear wolves. And fire! My question is, how does a snowball 
cause an explosion like that. These are dangerous snowballs. That guy has a knife. <laughs> Remember to use the thing we gave you, game. <laughs> game says, I should say. They're trying to body slam me, which is very mean. Get smacked. Oh, great. That, that's horrifying, bat monsters. Oh, I thought they dropped bombs. No, they dropped uh, canisters of uh, uh, allies. Eat your heart out, ODST. And Helldivers. Horn dive spam for <laughs> when enemies are here to kill you. He was like, oh my god, he killed everyone. Even our ODST troops. <laughs> you can level up, you distribute it. I just didn't know if we were, like, actually there. Ah, oh, that's what that is. It's actually a pool. And it gets smaller. Interesting. Oh Jesus! I thought it was like a like a fill up to get one point, not a distribution system like that. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just here to uh, commandeer your tank or ice cannon, I guess. We just burned a guy inside his tank. Luckily, that is not a war crime. Again, the vibes are very nice. All right, giant Draugr dudes. Out on the march. Dang it, I wanted to hit that. You think that was Cinder? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> you hope so? Well, if, if it wasn't, it means there's more than one. Okay. I guess that, that kind of makes sense. I hope that was Cinder, too. <laughs> okay, S S Spyro, that's actually... <laughs> that's a good point. So yeah, Spyro, that's that's a good point. So if I Oh! Oh Jesus, he became bones! He became bones! All right, interesting. Ghoul spawn the beast. How dare you be over here in the corner. You truly are rancid. I do like the destructible environments. Slightly. Slightly destructible environments, but still very nice. Hopefully that, like, uh, catapult is immortal. <laughs> Apparently I just needed one shot, it seems. Aha! Now that we've... Ah, I can see now! I see where the level ups are going. Gotcha. I'll level up my fireballs next. And try to spam them a bit more. 
Then again, it all it took was like a one diddly D to out. Absolutely annihilate some foes before, so it makes sense. Hmm. I mean, I am enjoying the vibes. Huh. I guess, did I... <laughs> did I do that? Did I accidentally destroy the bridge? Oh, those are explodable. Still, are they? They are. <laughs> I didn't expect them to blow up like that much. Now I am the lightning man. Fire, are you okay, buddy? I guess so. I eat lightning for breakfast. You have learned the electric stream breath. Oh, oh, I died. That's weird. I don't even know what hit me. I think maybe I went too far in. Maybe I need to make them come to me a bit more. I think I might have gotten too close to the... <laughs> Perhaps I got too close to the enemy. It feels like they are definitely... I feel like my beating up is a bit more useful. It does seem to knock him about a bit. Quit resurrecting. I think I, I prefer the fire because the fire, like, stuns them a bit more and lets me to do follow-ups. Then again, it could just be that my electricity isn't as leveled up. <laughs> Who needs combos? I have, I have airdrops. The airdrop is me. Then I guess it's like more maybe like a. Am I more like a single stun than hold down flame, maybe? Be gone, Fire Mace the Cold. That name makes no sense. So it does seem like it's like just a, a single burst stuns them a lot more than the fire does, but... Ow, jerks. Also interesting that their shields, like, reject me a lot more. Wait, yeah, I think I'll stick to fire for now. Of course, go to level up. All right, now I can see the how my level ups are distributed a lot more. I did notice the bars underneath, or like above, around the diddly Ds before. We'll see how lightning deals with these guys, maybe. It seems they have an electro tower too. What? I may be the, the Draugr at, or at war with them. Well, a lot of Draugr are coming. Oh, Lord, they coming. Oh, 
Oh, that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean to click that. Oh, well. At least I kill you a lot faster. Oh, great. Should have, definitely should have saved it. It was a misclick of doom. Emphasis on doom. I do like that it's area of effect, the explosions, but I wonder. But I can get area of effect damage on you. Run it out of... Hmm. Yeah, so these guys are definitely... A bit feisty to defeat. But if I have a little bit of flame, I can kind of stun lock them. It's just that there were two of them. Ah, motherfucker. Kind of aggravating. <laughs> ah, good. They destroyed it for me. The Draugr just sent one last barrel at me out of spite, I guess. Ah, you can throw them off ledge with the electricity. But it does feel like the small enemies already die fairly quickly anyway. Get smacked, idiot. Into a wall. These big guys, far less terrifying. So I definitely should play around with the electricity a bit more. Darn it, I ran into that, literally. Are you gonna run away to inform your boss? I thought they were going to close that door behind him. Maybe it's a trap. <laughs> so maybe it is a trap. Are you just going to flood this bridge with enemies or explosives? That's not good. That's not good at all. I got stuck on the wall. Get back here, Grimblade. You jerk. Ah, uh, you thought you bombed me, did you? Well, you didn't. The one who bombed anybody was me. some bowling. I actually hit him, I think. Now, now, no sitting in a corner. That's just very rude. 
will not steal my grin. You jerk. We are so far really liking the vibe. Hmm, let's see. Very slow. Words fry your foes and throw them around using the supercharged zapper. Hmm, so it dis explicitly says throw them around. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> it feels like we're in a death tunnel. Death tunnel it is. Meanwhile, he's going to blow up the Draugr. Man, the ongoing war. Devil Seer. I don't know why, just amusing considering usually Spyro would ne like, Spyro as a series would never say like devil or blood. They're just throwing more and more reinforcements at this issue. I'll just burn him alive with my super fire. How dare you. I want to throw you into the air. And then you go slow-mo. The combat is simple, but very enjoyable. Hmm. They didn't even fully destroy this. Oh, he even has the struggle to get up animation, too. It is adorable. Maybe Skylanders use Spyro's design in-game to make a minifigure instead of the chibi form Spyro. I don't know what that means. All I know is that, like, Spyro is very Gremlinified in Skylanders. Hmm. I'm just gonna go all in on fire. It seems to be, like, super, super good. And then we'll start, like, leveling up electricity and stuff. The main breaths. Who are you gonna send in a big boy? He is a big boy. I don't think the game expected me to upgrade my flame breath. Either that or that guy's not as terrifying as he's meant to be. Ooh, now this is time to use my... my super kill move. Prepare for death for all of you. There we go. And that's why <laughs> we try to save our destruction for parts like that. And look here. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why. Just to complete the, the feel of like, ah. This is a lookout. Darn. I, I assume that I can't get too close to that tower.
Now I'm the one getting comboed. I hate the weirdness of, like... them blocking my attacks and stunning me. I don't like it. Also could use a bit more like uh like feel of oh I'm getting hit. Okay, that's just a taunt. Cause elsewise it almost feels like it's punishing me for Trying to kill these guys normally. Oh, hey, and then they just stay this way. <laughs> Interesting. On the one hand, kind of disappointed that I don't get to learn to fight those guys, but at the same time, cuts down on frustration for Dyna parts, I guess. Even if it does massively just destroy the difficulty factor. But hey, I would rather a too easy game than a too frustrating game. Hm. Interesting. That at least <laughs> I can destroy the barricades. Also kind of funny that, like, the enemies fighting each other is helping me along my quest to try and find Voltier. Alright, there's no... I would wish I could move the camera. Alright, it's just a dead end. But no icicles. Not much to worry about. Are you going to send enemies out, or do I need to go in? All right. Uh... I explode you, Mr. Pearl Dash. Well, he definitely dashes. Get exploded, idiot. At least it kind of m might explain how they're, like, trapping the Elder Dragons. If they have dudes like that, they're just like, I'm going to summon a magical barrier. Ow. How dare you. Triple, how dare you? I burn you alive now. Once again, I just wanted to destroy this debris, so I have less to get in my way of fighting these guys. Back here and burn. They've landed right on top of me. How dare. Blizzard Twister. That's a cursed name. Might as well be like torturous small animals. 
<laughs> mighty flame. Well, my flame's mightier than yours. Now get out of here. I don't know when they might pull more, like, uh, lock you away from going back. I always destroy what I see. It does kind of annoy me that these guys just <laughs> run around if I set them on fire. But if I don't set them on fire, they go right in to get combos in on me. Unless I, like, flank more, or, like, strafe more. Night boar. Get back here. I'd be less drawn to the fire breath if my melee attacks actually, like, stunned enemies a bit more. Smack you while you're down. And then a bunch of dynamite fell in. And we're gonna die. Your friends have dynamited us all to death. Here, I thought there would be like a big old fight through this entire building because so many destructibles, but. I slowly fill it up so I have maximum fire to annihilate all my enemies. It's kind of brutal, considering that these guys stay on fire for a lot longer than most other enemies in the Spyro series. I just continually get randomly bombed. Quit fury swiping me. Man. Nice. Did the other one just run back here, or did he die? Seems like he died. It almost feels like the that. Oh, hello! Where'd you come from? Yeah, that's why I got away. <laughs> They should have used the new beginning Spyro design for the figure. That probably would have been better, but they were also wanting to go in a different direction after the Spyro movie fell through. So, like, we have to make a new Spyro design so people won't be like, Oh, so this is a sequel to Legend of Spyro. And plus, considering that Skylanders itself took center billing later on, it almost felt like they were trying to get away from Spyro. I wonder if the Skylanders TV show was any good. Or, like, show. I'm not sure if it was ever on television. All you know is that there was an animated Skylanders show. Of course, using Gremlin... Gremlin-faced Spyro, but hey. Quit laughing at the fate of your allies. Come into battle, moon battle, or is it because you <laughs> it's not, like, under the moon that you refuse to battle? Okay, cool. Dodging. We can dodge. Get back here so I can do this to you. 
He died mid-combo, so he just decided to die on the ground. I do like that there's, like, a lot of, like, destructible environment around. I don't know why. It just adds a nice little touch to it. Since everything's so linear and nice, they're like, hey, let's add a little bit of flavor to everywhere. We're so close <laughs> to ultimate power flame breath. Up, oh, there was a save. Dark things about to happen. Death about to rain down, probably. The real question is, why is Valtir being held in the the, 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 the the ice place? Darn it, so close! Also, the music has been very subdued. I should have been running. But I managed to make it across anyway. I am dope. I am Grand Gamer. Alright, it feels like we're in the no-man's land. All right, a veritable army coming for me. Like, are these bombs? No, they're actual bombs. I thought they were actually going to be an army. Why is there a hole? Seriously, what is that gremlin-faced bat monster? I guess we're going to fight it now. Fear me. I, I burn you on fire, Al. How very rude. Alright, very rude that you're, like, blocking my shit so much. I, it's very annoying that they block my attacks so much and then they're rebounding my attacks. Do a ton of damage. And there's, like, no telegraphing that to me, except mid-pain. And suddenly this one decides to... Especially when there's other little mini-enemies here. Come on, give me health. Oh, hey, we can actually destroy that. Didn't know. Give me health, enemies. I do think it's a little overboard to have environmental spikes. Quit screaming. I do like that it kind of learns your patterns, but I do think it's a little absurd the amount of damage it does when it rebounds like a parries you. I think that could have used a little tweaking. Otherwise, do like that it learns against the player. But yeah, what is this? A hole? Can we go in the hole? Why well, have hole if cannot go in? And there we go. Haha. <laughs> yes. Now my flames will murder everything. Like you, probably. And he just fell away. <laughs> it's like he just vanished. Oh, good thing that I saved my annihilation. Prepare for annihilation. Again, hate that they... And also because they get, like, attacks off like that. It's one thing to be like, oh, we block, but another for them to basically get a confirmed combo off it. <laughs> like, ah, you're doing too much damage against our enemy. We can't let you do that. <laughs> and the fact that they can do that is very annoying. Again, the base idea of an enemy reacting to you and be like, ah, 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 not too much damage. I do like. But I do think it's a little overboard. 
on like how much they disallow. Then again, maybe if I was uh, strafing against these guys, it would probably be a bit better. Darn you. Again, the fact that they can combo so easily hurts soul. Yes, game. I totally want to focus on the little guy and not the big enemy. Or maybe it's only like sometimes they get to. Like, I don't know, like that weird little parry mechanic. It exists slightly. It's like they run at me. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, we block a lot. I don't know. It feels weird. Yeah, these guys are a little finicky to deal with. With their extra health and their learned patterns, especially because of how many there are. Hmm, maybe I need to do more electricity. It's weird, because sometimes they, like, parry me and they do some damage. But I guess if I, like, overcommit to the parry. So it takes a little bit to get used to. If you go for a full combo against their parrying shields, they get very angry and deal damage. But if you only do like a, a single attack, it's less of a bottom. So I think I'm getting it. Kinda. It's like if you press the button once against the uh, a blocking enemy while strafing, it's not too terrible. But god, they're just going on in. A lot of these dudes. So yeah, strafing is a necessary thing against these guys. Strafing is a need against these guys, the Dreadwings. Get burned. Yeah, just like under certain circumstances, their parry wing attack will deal damage. On other times, it will only bounce you back. I have yet to find the line. Find it one of these days, we will. But I do like that they're throwing more, like, maybe not intelligent, but like, uh, more involved enemies at the player. I do enjoy that. Headbutt! Headbutt! Maybe we should head this way, Jadius. 
I knew the hole would be important. But we missed out on some gems. The last enemy dropped gems. An enemy responds, die, Echoes. Well, <laughs> I was partly right. <laughs> Echo man. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, those extra gems would have been very nice. Sparks, you've doomed us all. But luckily, through my ingenuity, we live. Also, ice physics are back. They're like a less extreme version of uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Of which the, the ice physics were, oddly enough, one of my favorite parts of Enter the Dragonfly. Felt a bit novel back then. I guess we'll level up the other main breath. And then begin upgrading the firebombs. Well, this seems odd. An yeah, oddly Sam flowing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. That read, that 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 read amuses me. What, he, what part was easy? You getting chased by frozen madmen and gorillas? Uh, sparks. An even bigger Iceman. Ah. That was the most underplayed eh, ever. Well, time to kill a big Draugr. Oh, but he gets angry. Ah, if, the, if that happens, drop some stuff. Ow, rude. Oh, hey, we can actually attack him through his shield. Slightly. Okay, I did that before his wave clear came at me, because I don't think I knew how to dodge that properly. I had no idea how to dodge that, so super attack! Oh, crap, he's gonna do that again! I don't know how to dodge it! I do it. Dang it. I want to come over here and grab these. Dang it, that hits me again. Honest to... Oh, was that... No, you have another form, I know. It was an orange life bar.
But so far, a better boss fight than both Red's boss fights. Oh, hey! Ah, dang it. There goes all the health I got from that. Right, I was saying that, ooh, that drops health. But at least I can just spam my, my flame breath at you. I can just spam my heat breath at you. Booyah! I just sucked at clearing that one attack. But otherwise, yeah, you're a better boss fight than I think all of the fights in Hero Hero's Tale. My question is, how the hell did Cinder set up that that Draugr to defend Zvoltir? So many things have been learned, and now here he is standing right before me. Excuse me, Mr. Vault. Hey, well, 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 what is it? Sir, should, shouldn't we get going? Get, get out of the enemy territory. But where to? What the sanctuary. A friend of yours is waiting. Ignitus? Yes, Ignitus. <laughs> of course, much to tell the many hypotheses to pose. I... Voltier is adorable. I like how Spiral learns elemental breaths. Yeah, I do like that they kept that from both Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale, and like... I don't know, it's nice, it's nice that, that it's a continued yes, thing. Yes, Voltaire, Even if I'm not good at using the electro breath. <laughs> I'm a basic, I'm a basic bitch, I only do flame Cinder. breath so far. She was doing what to you? Cinder's a chick? <laughs> Boy, it's hard to be absolutely sure, Ignitus. But it seems she was using me as some sort of suspended organic power source. Huh? She was using him as a battery. Why didn't you just say They have batteries? Sorry that. She also left with a glowing yellow orb. And I believe that I somehow powered it. Does this mean anything to you, Ignitus? Perhaps. I also like... Like, Perhaps. even though it, Voltaire is kind of just a palette swap of Ignitus, I do like that they still added, like, Before the stripes on him. But first, I'd like to impart some useful knowledge to Spyro. These are being his recently acquired electricity-based exhalation device. What? Well, he says he'd like to teach me some things about that electricity breath. Boy, why didn't you just say so? I do like that Spyro just, like, knows what Voltaire is saying. But yeah, so far, just very much digging this. This is fun. It's nice, simple, and not overcomplicated. That's the main problem that, like, uh, a hero's tale had. It was just overcomplicated, what should have just been simple fun. Electricity, the spark of life. Listen, and I will teach you its secrets. Yeah, <laughs> teach me how to properly use the electricity breath, and maybe then I can use it properly. Uh, a little obnoxious that we have to watch the statue animation every time, but oh well. Press and hold the square button to shock the dummies near the targets. Using your left analog stick, throw the enemies into props to shatter them. Ah. So they do, like, uh, roughly follow... All right, so it, it seems to be camera-based. <gasps> or maybe it's... <laughs> All right, a little funky, but now I get it. Excellent. Now I definitely get it a bit more. Come over here. So if I line enemies up properly, I can definitely yeet them off. Ba ba ba. Chase after the enemies and press and hold Dada to shock enemies with your electricity breath. When they are in range, defeat all of the dummies before the time limit expires. <laughs> Is Voltier limping? Nope. Ah, that's actually a... A neat detail. I guess it makes more sense, like, uh... Ignitus was kind of down in the dumps... 
and just hiding away while Voltir was kind of just stuck in one place. So I guess it kind of makes sense that Voltir would be in slightly better condition for some reason. To throw an I hate that it goes so slow, but if you it then it goes super fast and you can't read what happened before. All right, uh, run up to it and press X to jump up to meet it and proceed to melee the dummy. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. All right, an electric cage to capture the fleeing dummies and aerial melee them. So basically, that's just an easier way to get enemies like caught in the air, which I do indeed like. It does seem a bit imprecise. But at the same time, it also seems to, like, set traps, almost. So against a lot of enemies, it could potentially be quite handy. Get smacked, idiot. Please die. <laughs> I barely made it. Will be Pyro, come here. Ah, now we learn the big ol' big ol'. Have to defeat the large dummies. Oh, the small dummies. Press that for the electronic fury. Again, it feels like you could send an army of these guys to take on Cinder's army. I know that these are just here for training purposes and gameplay, but I don't know. So yeah, leveled up this might be interesting. Be able to throw them around a bit. Throw enemies all over the place. Especially now that I understand its purpose a bit more. Get annihilated. Prepare to die. My little training enemies. <laughs> the fourth legend of Spyro game. The training dummies revolt. But ultimate enemies. And now, Electro Power! Your training is complete. So, Flame Breath and Electricity Breath, what do you think the other two breaths will be? Hmm. Definitely Ice Breath. Not sure if they would continue the trend of using I or like water as the next, as like one of them. Definitely Ice, but yeah, don't know what the fourth will be. Could be water, but I don't know. I could try to Spyro glean the info from the level up screen. Taken to tall place. Well, there's the uh, that the Ice Prince Guardian. Fox must go there at once and find him. Yes, sir. But if we see danger, we should run, right? There are times when all of us need to stand up to danger, young Sparks. <laughs> yeah, maybe next month, next summer, perhaps next year. Just go <laughs> now. I do kind yes, of sir. like that since Sparks 
can talk a lot, he gets to be the kind of sassy, snarky asshole. So <laughs> Spyro can be more earnest and nice. But I have no idea what the fourth breath Cold will be. Ooh! The ancient tribe called the Atlawa. Ah, oh, bless you. <laughs> he did say that weirdly. The Atlawa. Atlawa were a people in tune with the rhythms of the seasons, focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. They've all been religion confirmed by Cinda and her forces, who have taken over the tribe shrine. I sense that's where Cinda is keeping Siri. Trying to power another crystal. You must find him before she succeeds. But hasn't she captured these guys for years already? Nothing worthwhile ever is. Now you're spouting wisdom here, boy? <laughs> Come on. But yeah, so far I am digging this game. Ah, uh, more monkey dudes. Looks like Jafar. <laughs> Engineer in Jafar. In G wherever you are. Some shot master you are. Help. Burn him alive. Burn him alive. Hey, while you're full frost touch, you're in the completely wrong area. Hurry up and burn. And eh, not much to put in. I do like the stepping sound effects for when we're like walking around. How dare. I was rubbing my eyes. Well, there's a big guy up there. Come fight me. Hmm. Maybe I should bomb you instead. Get bombed, idiot. <laughs> Throws a dynamite for convenience. Use your tail strike. That's not really tail strike. That is the horn slam. I guess that guy just got crushed. <laughs> this area you could use electricity to throw enemies off the ledge slash map since there is a lot of ledges. Definitely true. Hmm. For a moment I thought that he was immortal. I'm just gonna bomb him. <laughs> come on, come closer. So I can bomb you again. Work smarter, not harder. And by that I mean bomb your enemies. Wow, well, the music is pretty interesting. And this is definitely like uh, one of the... Oh, I was wondering what that was. If I stand it like this, yeah, that's just there to teach you, hey, beware, <laughs> there are traps. Speaking of that, we killed the earth cannon. Now the earthbenders will never be able to go to war again. Right. 
I get it. They go in a, a cycle. Darn it. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm just liking the vines. Uh, the vibes, not vines. The vibes are just really good. I do like that their weapons seem to be based on, like, uh, Aztec? Or was it Mayan? I forget. But there's, like, a, a certain South American culture, I believe. Well, then again, I guess a lot of cultures have a similar designed weapon, but that's what I most immediately think of. I think some... I I, I forget what they were called. Or what are, are they called? But, like, uh, island nations? Like, uh, have, like, shark teeth lined clubs, kind of like that. They have a nice design. I wonder how many times you've said vibes this stream. It probably is up there with, like, uh, oh, hey, are you a goat person or a wolf person of some kind? Ah, great, more fiends. But, yeah, it's probably the amount of times I've said vibes is probably up there with the amount of times I said it during the, uh, Bu -bu -bu. Gates to infinity yeah, streams. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Goodbye. There we go. Definitely can do that. If they're right next to, to it. Uh, game! <laughs> Sure you do. Oh, you're welcome. He immediately gets kidnapped by another fiend. Hmm, I wonder if electricity works on this guy. It kind of does. <laughs> oh, the wonders. But I do like that they gave, like, uh, the Atlawa an interesting design. Then they're not just immediately just like, ah, this one type of animal. They're a lot more interesting than the, the monkey men, that's for sure. Yeah, so far, really enjoying this. Saw that coming. <laughs> Need to be careful because that is dynamite. Well, who would I be to not set off the dynamite? Who knows, maybe I needed to. Right, the camera kind of gets away from me sometimes. Hmm. So it seems like it almost wants me to jump on top, maybe? Indeed. That makes me wonder. Because this is also aiming this direction. Are there secrets? At all secrets. Even if there aren't any secrets, I do enjoy that they, like, let you still jump up there. That was probably how I was supposed to get the gems normally, probably. But yeah, the music really is soothing. Nice and simple. You don't need super noticeable music for every single aspect of a game. It just uh, can be very nice. Armadillos? Would be, well, would be interesting if they were, like, fireproof. 
but nope, you're just a green thorn. And you die like everything else that faces me. Break up the party for Cinder's goons with the mother of all explosions. Interesting. Huh. Malik's firebomb of the burning plains. Meanwhile, this is just electric arc of the static shock. But I guess they have, like, different names for, like, different levels of evolution. Drag Sooth's fire blast of the eternal uh, inferno. Electric stream of slithering viper. That's actually an interesting little detail there. I like that. Again, it just shows just like a nice little bit of care. I really do enjoy that. Get out of here, Hazel Bramble. You sound like a warrior cat's OC. I need to get back to my warrior cat's fanfic. They're, like, stunned, get thrown up in the air animation. Almost seems like it's an animation for them to begin attacking. I'm here to murder you. What game? There we go. Haha, <laughs> they hurt their ally, but not me. I am immortal. Ha 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 ha. How dare you. And gather up all the gems, because why not? And again, I do really adore that they keep the gems important, but they're not like a super duper dibbity dee thing. They're just uh, there for health reasons. Health, power, they're still important. Which I think shows how much they did care about reimagining Spyro. How easy would it have been to, like, completely throw gems outside of, like, like out of the game entirely? It's like, oh, we don't need gems. We're not going to be a collectathon. But they still kept the gems to serve a function. I know a pitfall trap when I see one. I wanted to jump away up here. I burn you alive. Ah, so it is an instant death. I just wanted to make sure. By using them instead of me. Or maybe it's not instant death, it's just that uh, I need to avoid the spikes. Interesting. Oh, you're alive. I shall kill you now. How'd you throw that many dynamite? And how'd you survive with, like, no health? Darn it. Get burned. There's actually a minor... Huh. Okay. Getting hit is like a teleporter. Getting hit by bamboo sends you flying through the sky. You know, for a moment I thought that maybe fire wouldn't work on a stone guy. Ah, it actually knocked him over. I'm sorry, shrubbery. 
but die. The shrubbery must be murdered. More voltage will give the goons a shocking surprise. Toss them around like toys. I definitely will upgrade this so that I can throw enemies around. All right, I... It's definitely not water, but what the hell is the final breath? I glanced down there accidentally. It's green. What am I going to do? Shoot vines at them? Oh, hey. All oh, the physics on this bridge. Actually quite nice. Hmm, I want to check something. Hmm, flight up, down. Camera left, right. I wish that, like, uh, camera up, down was also in able to be inverted. Land, I'll throw you off. I like that this is... Okay, I have to comment on how genius the electricity breath is. Because in, like, Hero's Tale, the electricity breath was just a slightly different fire breath. In which it, like, stuns enemies a bit faster, and it takes a little bit longer to kill enemies if you hold it, but also seemed to have, like, a slightly longer reach. It was weird. Meanwhile, the ice breath was basically a better breath in general, because it kills everything and you slam into them. It's just like, a oh, one breath kills all just with an extra step. But the electricity breath here, it has a niche to throw enemies into objects and off cliffs. And almost seems to be encouraging it. It's, like, super nice. It definitely feels like the developers... Like, plan for it to be used this way. Which is just awesome. Because it's such a creative use. I just adore that. Because it's not really a damage power, it's a fling enemies around power, and that's what it was explicitly designed for, and that's just so cool. Got to Indiana Jones it. Oh, great. We got weed. We got a weed barrier. But since there's no cliffs, we'll have to burn these enemies to death. We're going to have to burn the weed. Burn alive, berry crown. Green moss. Liru War Touch. I'm coming for you. Oh, hey, more gym. <laughs> they just keep spawning more and more. Get burned alive, living flambe. That one's on fire. And they're dying. Um, does it actually just kill them? Huh. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. They just 
<laughs> fall to their deaths. And I just read the Twitch chat. No matter the height, they still instant die. That is hilarious and kind of makes this OP. I love it. Hey, don't mind a uh, fling, fling. That is amazing. That is wonderful. That is brilliant. I love that. That is highly amusing, and at the same time, very nice of the developers to do that because that gives the electricity breath so much use. Because otherwise, it's only really useful in certain areas, but so long as there is a height, you can get use out of it, and that's just, like, nice design. That is nice design. Compare that to, like, the other Spyro games that I've played up till now. And it's just like... To have explicitly nice design given to you by the developers. Have giving you a cool mechanic that you can play with. That they're like, yeah, have fun with it. Throw enemies off cliffs. With the power of electricity. And they encourage it to such a wide degree. I love it. That's so nice. So it's not, this game isn't really... So, like, sure, it is kind of a beat-em-up still, but... It's a little bit more clever than that, and I, I respect that. I really do enjoy that. Um... Hello? Goodbye. Sailor Hunter. You will never kill Sailor Moon. But yeah, that's just... Nice. Rude. But there's so many pots over there. I'm dead. I wanted the pots! But yeah, so far this game has been really, really nice. Then again, maybe I could, uh, maybe firebomb them? Well, but they won't come to me. Or will they? Maybe if they fall off, they'll come to me. But yeah, this is just really nice. I desperately hope that they don't fall down the her to her, we need to have difficulty fallacy. We're going to have to use the water wheels to move ahead. Oh, it's never easy. What even are you doing? We have to get them rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. What? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Interesting that they just have like this side path ish that we're probably not meant to go down. Honestly, the difficulty in this game wasn't that bad to compared to Hero's Tale. And even then, it felt like less like difficulty and more like obtuse design to try and make difficulty. Which I think there is a difference. Oh, very rude. Honeybeard. Having m m honey in your beard is very bad. As would having beard in your honey. I also like that the headbutt is initiated by holding the attack button while you're in the air, which fits so well. So far, the design of like the gameplay, the levels, the difficulty, all very nice. 
I probably could just throw them off with the electricity. But those ones are simple enough to annihilate with just fire breath. But yeah, oh, really, it just feels like this game was made by people that wanted to make a fun game rather than wanted to make difficulty. Granted, it could just be that since this game isn't, like, a direct sequel to, like, other versions of Spyro... They were, like, less tortured on, like, how they should do it by their higher-ups, which is always a possibility. Since they're doing something new, they probably had more leeway for things, whereas the other ones were probably told, like, no, 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 you have to make it more. But still, I hold... I hold that the end of A Hero's Tale was the developers going, no, no, no. We have to make it more difficult. I don't think... Okay, good, we can escape. So I don't know, I, was, didn't, I don't think I was meant to fall in there. 50% beat em up, 50% original story and gameplay. Which I do enjoy. Now yeah, we'll come down here and kill the enemies. Why'd you hide in the in the river? You're very bad at tracking, Kekalilti. You fool. Get obliterated. But yeah, like the the graphics are nice, the art is nice, the gameplay, while a little bit simple in like, overall design and execution is actually pretty nice and fun. And so far, it's not even that edgy. I would, like, honestly compare it to just, like... It's less fluffy fantasy like, uh... The previous Spyro games were. And that's pretty much it. Or maybe it's just that it had David Spade, and that's what made it dark and gritty. A celebrity voice actor. The true horrors. But yeah, honestly, I think the main reason that maybe it got lambasted a bit is because it's like, oh... It's a reimagining of Spyro, and it's not a collectathon, and I think that's basically it. But otherwise, like, it seems perfectly fine. Honestly, so far, better than both The Hero's Tale and Enter the Dragonfly. Also, even though it's not the mechanic, I do kind of like that there are the big kind of wheat or like grass so it's almost like you're going through the grass hiding from the turrets as you activate the water wheels that's not really what it is but it kind of gives that vibe and I like that I burn you alive monkey man with a helmet die. Oh, then he just went flying. Okay, game, you can stop stunlocking me. Game, stop stunlocking me. How is that fair, game? 
That's genuinely bad design. The... Be a bit more careful. How can I be more careful when the first time I get hit, I just get stun locked to hell? At least they're just right up here. Like, if they can stun lock me, they shouldn't be able to, like, block parry my moves. Again, why does that have a stun? It shouldn't. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to lure them out and throw them off of electricity. Come on, you can fight me. But can you not come out and fight me? Yeah, it just should not. Aha, one of them died. Invade, invade. Then again, maybe if I was strafing more, but it's a hallway. I don't feel like strafing would help much here. Yeah, mostly just the stun locking bit was the annoying part. Overall, just really enjoying this. And we've yet to run into more of the... Oh, hey, the, the, the Rives was going to say, it's that guy. They're taunting him. Lol. Now he's the one who's Moses. Yeah, I know the guy's an ingrate, but you got to do something, and fast. Lol. <laughs> okay, we did something somehow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Magical ice breath out of nowhere. I like that Spyro agrees. <laughs> you have learned the ice stream breath. Help. I wonder what its specific, like, use case is. Like, maybe they take more physical damage if I smack them? Could just be that my fire breath is very leveled up by now. That just throws everybody around. Dang it. I hate that they get so many attacks on me. Because yeah, it doesn't seem to do much on its own. Hmm. I should probably just, uh, blow them up. Get some experience later against less evil enemies, and now I'm just floating through the air. Ah. Could just be that I have yet to find its niche like the electricity breath. Or again, could just be that it's not leveled up like, uh, my fire breath is, so... Doesn't feel as rewarding to use just yet. Also find out amusing that Kane just left. Let's see. Give the bad guys a cold shoulder with more freezing power! Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and level that up. Apparently I just have a ton. Oh, now it goes to Ice Stream of Midnight Frost. Let's see. Ikelmar's Almighty Electric Stream. Electric Arc. I do like that they have over-the-top names. 
Ice Stream of Midnight Frost. Sure, let's go ahead and upgrade this to level two if we can. We just might be able to. It's going to be a breakneck finish. Ha <laughs> ha! And then we go to Bisthalon's hypothermic ice stream. Direct from the Ice Age. On these rivers of ice over everything that stands in your way. I do like the slight upgrade system. Oh, Jesus! Uh, I can run them into... Uh, That is hilarious. So with this one, I can bash them into things and each other. And it kind of just disables them at the same time. I wish I could just, like, uh, smack him in that form. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like I can just smack him into any old geometry. Has to be, like, breakable, it seems. But it does definitely... Well, how dare you. I was just gonna say it stuns you. And then you decide to not be stunned. But directing them into death traps can be quite fun. So that's fun. I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> so basically, in a way, that's kind of like, uh, depending on what, like, the third level of, like, uh, electricity is, that could almost be, like, better electricity. I freeze them, throw them off the edge as snowballs. Oh, never mind. It could just be higher level ones. Still coming to grips with, like, how to use it. Doesn't help with the... You want to jump over? I'll just throw you off, since I can. Keep throwing dynamite at me. It's very rude. Still utterly brutal that these guys just shatter as ice. Apparently, electricity just instantly bodies that. Goodbye. You say that, Spyro. So yeah, honestly, it feels like electricity is really good for throwing, like, instant killing through throwing off. Fire is good for straight-up battles, and I just need to learn Ice's niche. Niche. Because, like, of smaller ones, it's basically faster electricity. I can just turn them into game I can't even fucking see. Just very rude of you. Hmm, so maybe it does, like, add some extra damage. Wish there was, like, tooltips of, like,. Give me the lowdown of what the, the breath does. But so far, each breath is at least interesting. It's not just a direct replacement for the flamethrower. Which is nice. Oh, it's because I threw one guy into it. That's very nice.
Ah, I do kind of like it. You can risk going the direct route with uh, the giant diddly dees. Yeah, the design here is pretty good too. I think that guy got nuked. Ah, darn it. So it's not really any height. There still needs to be, like, some height to it. Quit throwing dynamite mid me burning you. It forces me to run away. Poor guy went into the wall. Alright, that's a weird place to grab the edge. I also like that they have, like, little ambient critters just running about the various places, too. Yeah, just really enjoying all this. I throw you. 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 Darn you. I wish I could throw a mid-fly. Or mid-jump. Hmm, so the electricity isn't, like, foolproof. Sometimes they survive the fall. Getting caught on the enemies near a wall is a bit funny. I do find it funny that Kane just ran away, never to be seen again. I joke, he'll probably be seen again, but it's like he didn't stick around. We saved him again, and he's just like, yeah, I'm not going to stick around. Funny how the big guy took the most damage from the fall compared to everybody else. Twitch chat says, I never really used ice as much. Yeah, I can definitely see kind of why, since it, like, uh, it seems to be a bit more involved. Like, a f like, it also doesn't help that it has different effects, like, for different enemy sizes. Then again, that could just be me upgrading it, or it could just be that's its entire thing. So it's a bit more annoying to fight little guys with ice. Maybe it's good for brawling against big guys, if my theory of it does more damage. Or, like, if you freeze a guy a bit and then hit them, it does more damage, but then at that point, why not just use flame so that it doesn't interrupt your combo as much? Especially because ice doesn't seem to stagger enemies. Maybe it'll will on, like, uh, the final up, uh, the final level up. Because um, ice seems to be, or, like, electricity seems to be very good as it is, so... Let's try and upgrade Biss of Thalon's Hypothermic Ice Stream and see what the final upgrade level of ice does for ice. And then later, potentially, lament putting experience points into it. Which is funny, because YouTube chat uh, has been saying that apparently it can be quite OP under the right circumstances. Again, it could just be that I am ignorant of its full uses and thus cannot adequately make it OP. But we'll have to wait and see. Once, uh, Cyril gives us some hints and tips. Over it all. You're just pushing them. Why don't you get out of here and leave me in peace? 
I'm the boss here. Nobody else. I'm looking for a dragon. Of what? <laughs> Shh. You're all alone? Only until I kick these bums out. Which reminds me. I can't stand here chatting with purple dragons and mosquitoes. Hey, whoa, whoa. Who are you calling a mosquito? But you are a bloodsucker. It's not safe for you here. Oh, concerned about our welfare now? No need. We can take care of ourselves. Anyway, we need to get to the shrine. You'll never make it. How'd he go from getting his ass beat by golems to just shoving the apes around? <laughs> You'll never make it. Joke's on you. I'm like a god. Yeah, I'm just really liking the feel of the game so far. Because it's new, it's unique. At least for Spyro. Like, even though they changed it all to fit like a beat-em-up, they changed it to a different world, it still feels like Spyro. Which is just really, really nice. Uh, really, the only thing I have to super complain about is the camera is a little wonky to deal with. You have to find a turning place, basically, to be able to look around sometimes. But I am super enjoying this game. It could, also, it could also be that I was getting a bit sick of, like, wannabe Insomniac Spyro games. And like, oh, this wants to be like the Insomniac games, and except it's failing. Since I had that twice in a row, it could just be that I'm just happy to give anything that's a, a decent Spyro experience and give it a fair shot. Huh, interesting. <laughs> the weird places that Spyro will be like, Oh, I have to climb it! Ah, those are the balls for the certain areas, yeah. I've been seeing them about. I do like that it's actually showing the player. Well, at least it showed two. Which will probably show the other ones. Oh, more balls! Huh. Interesting. Now we can always come up here again after we do the ball puzzle. Die, Silver Chaos. You will never know the taste of DiGiorno pizza. Also, I do enjoy the ball rolling mechanic. It just feels nice. Yeah, so far, the game just feels simple, but nice. Like, a little bit of... Like, uh, what's it? Not... In... I, like, uh... In... Intricate. In some places. But overall, which is very nice. Okay, let me scout ahead to make sure I, like, turn it the right way if it's here. It's not here. Good. Just wanted to double check. Really, the only thing that's a little off in this version is that it kind of feels like the dash is almost ve vestigial. That it only exists here 
because it's a Spyro game. That's uh, so far the only itty bitty complaint that I have. It doesn't feel like the dash is here because they wanted to do cool things with it, but because, oh, it's not a Spyro game if there's not a dash is the kind of vibe that I'm getting. A kind of, if we didn't include the dash, the fans would come and murder us. Yeah, I'm just really, really digging this game. Simple but done well is all you need. All you need is a vision, and then you just need to nail the core aspect of that vision. And then you can, like, add some other extra stuff, too, if you've got the time, but the most important thing is getting the core aspect down and then staying true to that core aspect. Because even if you have a good core, if you then mess it up by deviating the difficulty too much, can... <laughs> it's like, so it's not just getting a good core, it's getting a good core and then building around that core well. Which so far they are doing. Get smashed, Earth Cannon. I probably could have flown over that rickety gate. Surprise, I am here. The Shrine God has not been appeased since Cinder's forces came. He is not happy. I'll beat him up. So is anybody fun around here? <laughs> You can't possibly face the god of the shrine alone. Sure I can. I'm a purple dragon. Not all of us are loners. I'm not going alone. I have sparks. Well, maybe someday you'll learn that two heads are better than one. Even if they are pinheads. <laughs> yeah. What? Like, even though sparks is kind of just a generic ha, ha sassy kind of guy. I do get that kind of sibling poking fun at one another from these two, which I do adore. It's an... I missed dialogue because I was smashing pots. Are we going to be throwing dudes off of, uh... Goodbye, me. I'll just stick to the edge. Throw enemies off. Come on, Dark Tracker. Get over here. All you want to... Can be a little finicky, but... We are still going to throw enemies off. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Was that guy's name Governor, but pronounced Govna? My ultimate breath attack is gravity. And the music is actually pretty nice here, too. Get out of here. No blood magics allowed. Blood magics are banned. So says Spyro the Dragon. This is cool. I like it. Because it, it definitely feels like this was planned because these are destructible. And you can just throw them off with the electricity breath. It just feels nice. Oh, hey.
Come on, get thrown off, get thrown off. How rude. It feels like they're destroying their own boat more than I am. Interesting that these guys have, like, shockwave attacks. Definitely interesting. The electricity can be a little finicky to maneuver. But yeah, I think I would definitely dislike this game a bit more if I didn't know electricity did this. Because that definitely opens up just, like, strategy. Get out of here. I'm going to have so much experience after this, hopefully. I assume that we're nearing... Like, hopefully I'm not meant to, like, pay attention to where the boat is at all times. Because it feels like we can get off now. Well, that was fun. It was. But not sarcastically. And fully leveled up ice. Nice. And then we'll save up to... Do more... Oh! So maybe it's just, like, more overall. We'll have to see when we actually fight something. Alright. If it freezes everything like that... Be very handy. Because that's what I kind of expected it to be. Freeze smack. Freeze smack. Thank you, destructible bamboo. So this is why it's OP, because you can just stun lock enemies. Oh, depending on how rampant that is, that can be insane. But I've definitely heard a lot of these uh, sound effects before. Of some of these enemies getting hit. Which, to be fair, there's lots of reused sound effects across media. That same howl sound effect that's, like, used in every single everything ever. That I mostly know from, uh, buh, 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 Warcraft 3 is the wolf sound effect for when it gets, uh, late on the map and the nighttime comes. Wait, ice can stun lock enemies? Apparently at level 3. That's what I'm getting out of this. And it can also hold enemies in place if you don't want to deal with them right now for a little bit. I'll have to see if it does that to the mini monkey dudes as well, because if it's... If it still snowballs them, I don't think I'll be using it against them. Against other enemies, yes. Against mini monkey dudes, no. Because I don't want to play snowball with many monkey dudes. What about you? Nope. Doesn't seem to be. 
but it does seem to increase the damage these guys take. So yeah, bigger enemies seem to take extra damage when lightly frozen and then comboed. But also the bigger enemies are more likely to block things they don't like. I should actually test that. Damn you. Oh, dang it. There's a ledge. I guess I'll fly over you so I have better opportunity. Oh, dang it, but there's multiple. Luckily, the environment will kill them for me. Which really is smarter. So I didn't get to do my test, but hey, I made it through. I have to admit, you've done better than I thought possible. Oh, saying that had to hurt. More than you can imagine. <laughs> There are some things you should know about the shrine before you enter. Oh, hey, Cinder! So I guess you got the crystal charged up. Also, and those were some we're thick done. thighs. Not before we rescue Sino. The Atlawa shrine has been desecrated. And the god of the shrine has not been given tribute since Cinder's forces arrived. Which has probably been a few years. If you can subdue his anger? The balance will be returned, and my people can come home. That's fine, but I came to free Cyril. You must go through the God of the Shrine to free him. I knew you. How did Cyril, uh, like, how did Cinder get through the God of the Shrine to charge the crystal through Cyril, then? Would be funny if it's like, the, the God was like, hey, being an evil God for these dark forces is actually pretty great. And you have to fight him. Is the ball puzzle a one time on a timer? No, not the ball puzzle that we just did a little bit ago. Was not on a timer at all. Which is just very nice. Now let's see how... Well, I guess the bridge is gone. Yep, that's why I thought I heard a noise. Cinder left, and I don't see any ice kings hanging around this place. <laughs> right, it's a golem. Oh no, it's Blitzcrank. But made of rock and vines. He hasn't been fed ADCs in forever. Why not just throw him off this island? Oh, hey! That actually does a lot of damage. Dang it. Likes to kick a lot. Hmm. Out, damn you. 
I wonder. Okay, fire actually does a lot more damage. And I can just stay underneath him if I get close enough. That's hilarious. Then again, he does have vines on him, so I really shouldn't be that surprised that fire is a bit more... Ow, how dare you? That did not hit my hitbox. Once again, uh, damn you. Okay, Jesus. That's scary that it can just kind of reach at me. But it seems that if he, ex like, punches at me, he'll it'll do extra damage. But yeah, I am enjoying this boss fight. Because it's very simple. He was very nice and simple. And now he's dead. We killed a god. You have subdued the god of the shrine. Restored balance to seasons, the land, our world. You're a god, Spyro. I want to worship you now. Worship? Okay, <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I've never gotten the respect I deserve, the praise that should be mine. That's very nice, Kane, but we have to get back to our home. Save our world. Stop Cinder for good. My dear, <laughs> I am the mighty spark, scourge of the despots. Yes, yes, old boy, we'd like nothing more than to stay and be a part of your primitive barbaric society, but duty calls. Duty ah, calls. so Cyril is a jerk. If you must, you must. But know that you're now part of the Atlawa tribe. One of us. One of us. I do wish that there was a bit more time with the Atwa. About what? Maybe two heads are better than one. Even if one of them belongs to an annoying mosquito. <laughs> mosquito means like have a few more of them be characters to have that line hit a bit harder of like, ah, you're a part of the tribe because you've done here and helped us. Like, could have benefited from just a li like a bit more like time and dedication to this level, or at least more exposure to the care like uh, to those characters. Like, maybe if we ran through their underground hiding place, talked to them more, just like, a little, like, note of this could have done been done a bit better to, like, make it more. All right, no more thesaurus for you, pal. All of you, please be quiet. It is certainly Ignite is just like, I should have stayed in this swamp. You to allow this reunion, but haven't we forgotten someone? Yes, yes, of course. Terrador. Is he a terror? Now, how do we proceed? I believe I can help, Ignitus. Well, young chap, since you learned a few things about ice on tall plains, I suggest we adjourn to the training room so that I can teach you some more. The legacy of the great ice dragons of yore. My ancestors, who come from the best of the best of this somewhat bedraggled lineage, is long and storied. With my help, rescuing Terradors would be a certainty. Uh, your pomposity, arrogance, and pretentiousness is odious to the extreme. Shall we? And since that is a save point, I guess we can... Hmm, sure. Let's... Ah, so that's weird. It's like... That's not actually... Enable autosave. That is, would you like to save? That's a weird thing. But hey, nice that I can do that. But that, I believe, will be a good place to end, because I think maybe we'll be able to beat Legend of Spyro A New Beginning in two streams, because it seems like we're a third, or like a three... Uh, like a three fourths of the way through, I mean, or maybe, uh, maybe more like uh, three fifths, maybe, because we'll go save Torador, learn the power of whatever the hell his power is. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll. Maybe it's the power of weed. But yeah, since we have three dragon elders, there are four breaths. We know three breaths. We're going to be learned on the third one. More than likely, we'll go save Terador, and then maybe one or two more levels to bring down Cinder, I would assume. And YouTube chat says, 
Why not use the ice breath to roll them off? Well, it depends, because uh, electricity feels more like easier to throw enemies off rather than freeze them and then physics object them off stuff, usually. So it all depends. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We have made it a decent way through. We've been going for three and a half hours. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm really enjoying it. Only minor annoyances when it comes to like bigger enemies that block and parry. And even then they can kind of be cheesed here or there. And plus really fast loading if you die. So not terrible. Although there was that one weird time where like so the enemy, like, the enemies kept their damage, and then sometimes they didn't. I don't know. But yeah, nothing supremely annoying so far. The music is good, the graphics are nice, the characters can be kind of one note, but at least they have a personality. They put that personality up front and center, so they're a little bit memorable. And like, I, like so far, the biggest complaint that I can give it is that I wish that there was more time for certain parts of the story to propagate. Which is really probably the best thing you can say about a game. It's like, I like it so much that I wish there was more. Like, I wish that we had more time with the Atawa, I think they... I forget how it's pronounced. But, like, had more time with them. Maybe find their hidden base of where they're hiding from Cinder's forces. So that Spyro can, like, more easily, more properly be a legendary figure to them. And just, like, overall, is very, very nice. Elijah Wood is really good as Spyro. All the voice actors are really good, with maybe the exception of David Spade, mostly because it's... It's not really David, Splay, David Spade playing Sparks. It is David Spade being David Spade with his voice coming out of Sparks. But even then, the script they gave David Spade definitely... Aside from the uh, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore line, Sparks has been really well written and fun. But yeah, just like... I like the vibes of it. I like that it's story-based. I do enjoy that, like, the story is front and center. And that even though the levels are linear, it doesn't feel super confined most of the time. So, yeah. Like, as a new beginning for the Spyro series, considering that the, th the first three Spyro games were all made by the same developer... And then the two to follow were just trying to grasp at the lightning in a bottle that was the first three Spyro games. And failing miserably in Enter the Dragonfly's case. And pretty badly in a Hero's Tale's case. Because, like, I can see people enjoying a Hero's Tale. But a Hero's Tale has way too many issues. But meanwhile... It feels like for A Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning, they decided to make a, like a basic game and do it well. And that's all you need. You just need good gameplay, done well, designed well, in decent levels, with good presentation. You don't need to be super duper exceptional, because in fact, I would even argue that the first three Spyro games aren't super duper amazing it, like, in their individual aspects. The, sp the original Insomniac trilogy is good because it is basic gameplay done well in well-designed levels with good ideas and good aesthetic and design. So, yeah, just, like, it's very good. It's just very, very good. But I do believe that that will be it for now. Next time, we will come back, learn the secrets of the ice, and go save Terrador and see exactly how much game is left. See if we can beat the game in two streams, or if it will... Uh, see if I'll be a fool and make it so that instead it's three streams with one being very, very short.
<laughs> of which in that case, I, I guess we'd do a quick sign off for the the VOD and then just jump straight into, I, I think it's called An Eternal Night. I, I don't know what the second one is called. It just slips my mind right now. But yeah, I do believe that that will be it for now. Even though this Spyro does feel like a little weird in design compared to the past Spyros, I think it works really good for the world they've built. It's just very good. He just has kind of a big nose. Kind of a big nose. But yeah, it's very nice. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me here today, everybody. If you liked what you saw, you can find everything that I do in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. It has my edited YouTube content channel. Uh, I swear I'm trying to make edited YouTube content. The, the brain is evil and bleh. But edited YouTube content channel in there. My streaming YouTube channel that I stream to and then upload these VODs to. Or even my Twitch channel if that streaming is more your speed. And if you want to see art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can see me upload to various different art sites or social medias, like Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, all over the place. All the links in the link tree. And then, if you want to read stories I doth write occasionally, links to that can also be found. And if you are of the affluent persuasion and feeling absolutely unbelievably kind, my Patreon is also linked as a little donation box, so people can show their support in a nice, quick, easy kind of way. Uh, at least compared to anything else. Uh, I do not know how to monetize anything really well, because I am a fool. But yes... Everything that I do in my link tree, my link tree can be found in all link places, bios, and descriptions. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. But yes, good night everybody, good day, night, evening, or morning, or wherever you are. Goodbye.